Notes to 3G. Solve systems for word problems. Objective. I can translate a word problem into a system, graph it, and determine the solutions. Essential question. How could I set up a system from a word problem? Vocabulary. Coefficient. The quantity of a variable. Common keywords. Equal words. Is, are, the same as, was, were. Subtraction words. Decrease, dropped, difference. Addition words. Sum, total, Increase, combined, and. Multiplication words. Per, times, product, doubled. Each with a number. Division words. Quotient, ratio, half. Each without a number. Solve systems for word problems. An owner of a pizza stand sold small slices X of pizza for 50 cents each and large slices Y for $2.50 each. One night, he sold 200 slices for a total of $450. How many slices of pizza, of small slices of pizza, did she sell? So first, let's highlight some key words. We have small slices, and we have large slices. The large slices are called Y, and the small slices are called X. They sold 200 slices, and the total money was $450. Now let's go back through and box our numbers. We have 50 cents for the small slices. And then two dollars and fifty cents for the large slices. The total was two hundred slices, and the total money was four hundred fifty dollars. So let's say the equation one was the total amount of slices. So we have small slices x plus large slices y equals two hundred total slices. Let's make our second equation for the total money. So we know it's $450. Each small slice was 50 cents. So in front of the X's, we're going to put 0.5 for 50 cents. Plus 2.5 for the Y's because each Y was $2.50. So that's equation one and equation two. Instead of going right into the calculator and finding the answer, let's take the time to practice doing it by hand. Let's use substitution. So the first step we want to do here, we want to find x, the small slices. So we're going to solve for y to replace it to get x. 200 minus y equals x. 200 minus x also equals y. So I'll write both of these out. The word you want to use is the one that equals y because we were to replace all the y's in terms of x because we're looking for x. So we're going to use this substitution. So that's your first step. The next step, wherever you see a y in the second equation, we're going to substitute it with this expression 200 minus x. So we have 0.5x plus 2.5 parentheses 200 minus x equals 450. From here we want to distribute 
the 2.5 at each term. So a 0.5x plus 500 minus 2.5x equals 450. Combine like terms, 0.5x and minus 2.5x is negative 2x. So I have negative 2x plus 500 equals 450. From here, we want to subtract 500 from each expression. So we have minus 500 and minus 500 on both sides of the equation. So we have negative 2x equals negative 50. To get x by itself, to isolate the x, we divide each term by negative 2. So 1x, one slice of pizza, small slice of pizza, costs 25. So, the, so they sold 25 small slices of pizza. So your answer up here was 25 small slices. So 25 small slices were sold. If you were to get the large slices, you would just plug it in in the first equation and solve for y. Basically 200 minus 25. Look through these steps again. Try the second example. Pause the video, try that one. These are your two equations from the system. The first thing you want to do is box your numbers and highlight your keywords. is still looking for small slices of pizza that they're selling. First step is the same. Solve for y in equation 1. 500 minus x equals y. Step 2. Substitute 500 minus x for each y in equation 2. Step 3. Distribute 3.5 into each term of 500 and minus x. Step 4, combine like terms. Step, step 5, subtract 1,750 from each expression. And step 6, divide negative 2.5 by each term. We get x by itself, you get 1x equals 200.